Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Jochen. I'm a cloud native consultant with 56k cloud in Switzerland. And today I want to talk to you about how you can get started with IS on Docker. Like my previous video, this content is based on a blog post that I wrote um, for our 56k blog. And if you prefer to read this information, you can head over there or click on the link below. A small fun fact about this blog post is that it's currently one of the most frequently visited um, posts on our site. And that's also the reason why I um, thought it's maybe a good idea to also record a video because it's really something the community um, is interested in. So, but what, what is IIS actually? So IIS is the web server that's shipping with Windows Server and it stands for Internet Information Services. And now you're maybe asking yourself, it comes with Windows, but aren't containers only Linux containers? And the answer, as you can guess, is no. So the majority of the containers that you will find out there are actually Linux containers, but you can also run containers on Windows system. They are a bit different. And if you're interested in this topic, you can go to the Microsoft documentation. You will find the link below in the description or let me know and I will record a video to give you some more information about this topic. But let's now jump back to today's topic. So how you can get started with IIS on Docker. And basically there are two things I wanna to talk to you about. First is Docker Desktop and how you can use Docker Desktop to um, actually um, test, build and deploy uh, Windows containers. And the second thing is, yeah, let, um, we're going to build a Docker image um, and boot it up so that you have a running website. So let's jump um, over to the terminal. And what I want to first show you is um, Docker version so that you're seeing, okay, I'm running Docker desktop version 4.11. So the latest version, um, it has running um, the engine running. It has container D, run C and Docker in it also running so all the linux components and if we look at all the images that are there you see familiar images like alpine redis um, ubuntu so all the linux based um, images and now with the docker desktop it's quite easy to to switch over so first of all you need to run it on windows that's why today um, i'm recording this video on my windows machine and what you can do in the taskbar, do a right click on the Docker icon, which is currently hidden behind my face. And in there, just select switch to Windows containers. You get a small warning because when you switch there, um, you can no longer interact with your Linux containers. But as soon as you switch back, um, that happens again. And if we now look at the Docker version uh, command again, you will see now we only have the Docker engine running and now it's talking to all the Windows um, systems in the background to achieve what we want to achieve. And if you look at the images here, you see currently there's only one image and it's actually the IIS base image that we're going to use for this small demonstration. Then move over to the code. So there's a small um, repository as it's an example, it's quite simple. So we have the Docker file and in the Docker file, you see um, we have the from clause, which um, specifies the base image. And then there's a second command in there where we add the content of our folder into the, into the um, container image. And the content of that folder is quite simple. We have um, an index HTML site that we just um, display when accessing the um, website itself. If we now jump back to the console, we can now use our default or familiar Docker commands to first build the image. So we give it the name Docker IIS and the current folder then that we are in. Also here, the output is the output that you see and are familiar with. And if you now look at the images, you see we have now one new image, the Docker IIS image, which was created just seconds ago. Yeah, don't get 
uh, don't be surprised about the um, image sizes. The image sizes um, in the Microsoft world are quite big, but I heard they are working on um, reducing that and hopefully we'll have soon um, smaller images there as well. And now we can use the docker run command to start this image. And one thing we want to do, because it's a web server, we need to mount the port. Um, I'm now just um, using port 8080 and the image we just created. This now boots up the server. And if I now go to the browser, you see website on IS in Docker. So with this simple um, repository and these simple steps, you can get started to use um, IIS on Docker. If you have any questions or want to know how you can do much more advanced things with it, um, reach out to me either in the comments below or on social media, because I know these videos um, on how to get started are quite easy to follow, but then the main work um, actually starts Thank you for watching and hopefully see you in the comments or on social media.